This build series is brought to you by Apex Cases and Seagate. Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be doing an unboxing and overview of the Gigabyte GA-H77N-Wi-Fi Mini ITX motherboard. This ranges from about $103 to about $100 about $120 depending on where you shop. I picked this up for $103.26 from NCIX.com. So going over some of the features of this board, it does have a PCI Gen, or excuse me, PCI Express Gen 3 slot built into the motherboard. There's only one slot because of course this is the mini ITX standard. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 courtesy of the Intel mini PCI card. That's built right onto the motherboard. It also comes with some external antennas. This uses a dual EFI BIOS system, so you can make changes to one BIOS and switch off to another BIOS if you need to modify some settings or if something goes wrong with one of them. It's also ultra durable, classic four, that's a gigabyte marketing sort of thing, which basically tells you that this is made of high quality components, so this should last you a very long time. It's also Windows 8 ready, which is basically the EFI thing because Windows 8 really shines if you do install itself on an EFI system, which I will be doing. Let's take a quick look around the packaging. Oh yeah, this supports LGA 1155, so this is an Intel only board. Does not support overclocking. That's basically the limitation of the H77 chipset compared to Z77. So here we have some more information about the motherboard itself. So because of the materials that are used, it gives you humidity protection, gives you electrostatic protection, high temperature protection, and power failure protection. So let's go ahead and get into the box and I'll talk to you a little bit more about the board itself once we get into it. Speaking of the board itself, here it is. Quite honestly, this is the smallest board I've ever seen in person. I, it's much smaller than I thought it would have been, so I'll put that off to the side for now. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the more uninteresting things that come in the packaging. So here we have two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second cables. One is right angled and the other one is straight. Here we have a user manual, so you might need to refer to this for a couple of things here and there. Here we have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth series drivers for Windows Vista, XP, and 7, and probably 8. And here we have our Intel 7 series utility DVD, so this comes with our chipset drivers, audio drivers, network drivers, things like that. Typically you could use this disk to get going, but it's typically recommended to get the latest from the manufacturer's website after you get your stuff going. Here we have our I.O. plate for the back of the motherboard. And here we have our two Wi-Fi antennas. So like I said, this does has, or excuse me, have integrated Wi-Fi and that is everything that is into the box. So let's go ahead and get to the motherboard itself, the main attraction of this particular video. Now if I go fast, that's because my camera has the battery low indicator on it. So I don't want to have the battery turn off while I am in the middle of the video. So here's the motherboard itself. As you can tell, it is very compact. Now here we have our two slots for our RAM sticks or DIMM sticks if you prefer, or excuse me, just DIMM. Here we have our PCI Express Gen 3 slot right here. So depending on the power supply and case that you have, you could put a really beefy graphics card in here, such as a GTX 690 or a Radeon HD 7990. Here we have our AG LGA 1155 socket, so our processor will go right into that slot. What else can I show you? We have some screw holes. We, here we have our P, or excuse me, processor power port right there. We have a number of fan headers located throughout the motherboard. Here we have our front panel connectors right along there. And here we have our main 20 pin power connector for the motherboard itself. Looks like the front panel connectors are actually up here, so this must be something else. Here we have our mini PCI Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Here we have a heat sink for the chipset. And here we have our SATA ports. So two of these are SATA 3 6 gigabit per second, while the other two are SATA 2 3 gigabit per second. Going over the ports, we have a PS2 combo port, two USB 3.0 ports, dual HDMI, DVI, our two antennas for the Wi-Fi, dual gigabit LAN, four USB 2.0 ports and 7.1 audio. And that about does it with this, oh, ooh, it's a nice matte black PCB as well. So the RAM 
is going to look very nice when it's on the motherboard. And that concludes the unboxing and overview of the Gigabyte GA H77N Wi-Fi Mini ITX motherboard. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it for this video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.